I'm Marcy from Hawkeye Construction. Uh, we're fairly new to the weatherization game. Um, let me tell you a little story about us. It has two themes, optimism and money. <laughs> we might as well talk about money. That's what this is about, right? So uh, in 2009, we had neither optimism or money. <laughs> a big crew. We were um, speculative real estate developers, so we were building houses. There were no more houses to build. We had no more customers. We needed something to do. We found WAP. There was a, an RFP that came across our desk. We thought, you know what? This might be a path to some money. <laughs> so we went for it. Um, we were the first, some of the first contractors in the Baltimore area to jump on board with WAP. Um, and we quickly realized that we needed to buy all new tools and all new equipment. That means that we spent some. Mm -hmm. all right. So we retooled. We got a little bit of caulk. We bought our aerators. We had some cautious optimism. And we went forth. We realized immediately that this was an enormous opportunity for our company. There are weatherization and air quality projects as far as the eye can see. So we had optimism. Here's what we did. We took the work that we were doing with WAP and we went into whole house uh, retrofitting. We started working with the Lead Paint Coalition, um, the local utilities. We wanted to go in to a house, transform it so that on the very next utility cycle, the homeowner saw an enormous, enormous amount of saved money. We started doing um, furnace replacements AC replacement, roof repair, I mean, you name it. Those houses were completely different after we left them than when we got in there. Here's the thing. When we wanted to start doing this whole house approach, we needed to do a lot of training, 200 hours of training per weatherization employee. These aren't managers. This is every person walking through the door. This meant that we spent a lot of money on training. We stimulated the heck out of our community college and out of our training facilities in the greater Baltimore area. They were very excited to see us come. We also spent a lot of money. We bought a brand new fleet of trucks. This uh, fleet that you see here, this is our warehouse. Um, you can see how many trucks we have. This is based on $4 million worth of business. Uh, in 2012, we're going to do about $32 million worth of business, so this is going to go, let's say, multiply it by 10. Why not? We had to buy all new equipment. We bought some of your equipment, some of your equipment, and a few of your guys, some of your equipment. <laughs> Did you like to get our money? Yeah. Here's the benefit for manufacturing. Because we are large scale now, because we're doing all these contracts across the spectrum, we can buy in bulk. We can go to the manufacturer, and our orders aren't, you know, a little bit of this here and a little bit of that there. It's a regular shipment, a regular full semi-load of equipment every month. So they know how much to produce. We know how much to install. Everybody has an understanding. That helps manufacturing perform more efficiently, and it makes us have a better cost efficiency for the work that we're doing. Um, you can see here, these are hot water heaters that we're putting in. You can see we're buying them by the semi-load. This is for a different program. Um, new furnaces. You can see our semi-load of insulation right there. I blurred out the brand name because we don't want to make anybody feel any better than anybody else, but we love you all. <laughs> now here's the other benefit. Uh, here's where we make additional money. Um, we don't throw anything away. Uh, what we were concerned about with the weatherization program is, you know, we, we change out all of these units, we, we do all this work, are we just taking that and putting it into the landfill? That didn't seem like a really good idea to us. So we figured out how to recycle everything. This is shipping containers. These are the cardboard boxes that everything comes in. It's the packing materials. It's every single unit that we take out of a home. It gets recycled to EPA standards so that um, there's no harm to the environment. We actually sort of create raw materials because we can reuse what we've already dug out of the ground. Um, the benefits here, uh, we haven't really measured, but they're big. So thank you. Thank you for the program. Thanks for inviting me today. Thanks for everything.